earned the number one seed this past year. And when we actually won the national championship, we had a two seed. We had this like chip on our shoulder, like we knew we wanted to prove everyone wrong, like for giving us a two seed. And we had this like momentum and this fire that kind of drove us into the national championship. With this one seed, not that we settled with it, we were so happy we had the one seed, but it didn't give us as much of a uh, like kick in the, you know, to like go and get it. It was so heartbreaking because this, this team that consisted so much of the seniors was so important and they're like, they're just like synergy together at all times. It was so hard to see them not get what they wanted. They wanted to win again more than anything in the world and they, each and every one of them deserved it and they're just so incredible on the field and off the field that we like just not being able to do it for them was pretty disappointing, but yeah, so. My brother's name is Aiden Miranda. He was not born perfect because he was premature, but he was was not born with a traumatic brain injury, obviously. Yeah. So six months old, that happened, changed his life. Yeah. He's 13 now and is a completely different person in a, in a great way. He's still in like um, SSN, which is like special needs. Um, but you wouldn't be able to tell that he's special needs if you met him because he, uh, He's overcome it so well with such grace that you would have no idea. He is on a baseball team, like he is a great pitcher and a great hitter and his vision's restored. I definitely am guilty of being very, very protective of him um, because I know of everything that he's been through and I know that certain things are a little bit of a struggle that people might not know about. Sometimes he would get, a, not annoyed, but he's like, I'm going to be independent and he needs to learn. and and. Truthfully, he needed to be independent in some ways to figure out how he's gonna kind of get through this tough time. I mean, I'm never gonna stop doing that, but I'm very overprotective of him. <laughs> that like experience and being a part of that process makes me think about how like impacting lives is such an incredible thing that people get to do. And having an impact on someone else's life has always been something that I've like always wanted to do, so. With the freshmen, um, they're in an unbelievable, unbelievable group. Very talented, um, and there's a big, there's a big chunk of them. There's like eight, um, and they came into this program, and every starting spot was full. They were all seniors, and it was tough. And I, you know, I couldn't imagine coming in, and it was probably very intimidating for them. And in that sense, I really focused on trying to make sure that they had everything they needed to feel comfortable. This year, we're gonna all have to follow each other. We've all collectively decided that it's not just gonna be like a concentrated, like two people that are gonna lead, it's gonna be everyone. The thing about our team and what we really try to focus on year to year is um, goals as they come. I think the first goal is gonna be to get through preseason and um, get through our preseason games with a winning record. The next goal after that is gonna be definitely to try and win the Pac-12 championship. Obviously everyone has the bigger picture of yes, we wanna win a national championship, but there's other goals that we need to meet before that can happen. So this year with a little bit of a newer group, um, our cohesion and our leadership together is gonna really decide if we can obtain that goal and I definitely think we can.